with an update on a new housing crunch here in the coastal bend and a growing need for construction workers to build those homes. Of course, it is a predictable byproduct of all the new industrial development in and around Gregory Portland. And as our Bill Churchwell learned today, the shortage of housing is a big issue here and one that's affecting home prices. It is our top story tonight. Bill? Well, the shortage is coming from the need. This as more industry ramps up in the area, bringing more jobs and those families need a place to live. There's not one place I haven't been. Corpus is growing a lot. Alex Hernandez's skills are in high demand, and so is the need for workers like him. There's not enough to go around. There's not enough to go. We're lacking a lot of people. We found him here, hard at work in a brand new neighborhood going up off of Rand Morgan, a part of a Hogan Homes project. With the new industry coming in and everything going on, you know, we're really running behind. We're probably about 1,400 homes behind here in Corpus Christi alone. Trey Summers, the chief operations officer, says crews are doing well what they can to catch up as a labor shortage has builders competing for good qualified workers. We lost a bunch in the to the oil field um, and really just nobody ever returned. But that isn't the only contributing factor we found. Wendy Herman with the Coastal Bend Homeowners Association said for every three tradesmen who retire, only one skilled person takes his place. The median age right now of a bricklayer or uh, in, in this area is 55 years old. So the they're aging out. Out. We're retiring these folks and we're not replacing them at a rapid enough rate. She says there are programs out there that can help from Del Mar College to the Craft Training Center. Where a kid can get as little as nine months training and be able to go to work making 15, 16, 20, 30 dollars an hour with a skill. Another problem created by the shortage, home prices, which are on the rise. Check this out. The value of a typical home in the Corpus Christi area appreciated 42% from about $137,000 to $195,000 since 2011. So we really need to start thinking about, as a community, we need to have an honest conversation about how we develop affordable housing programs. And we're not talking, and not just talking about low income, we're talking about can the average family that, that has two jobs and trying to raise two kids and a dog, can we get those folks to be able to buy the, the average house? Bill Churchwell, 3 News.